Hi everyone, my name is Kisu. I'm the developer of Kisu's Fordcraft, and I'm going to be doing a forging spotlight today. Just going through the forging process and uh, what you can do with the ingots that you make and the hot ingots and some of the custom blocks in the mod right now. So to start off with, you're going to need clay. That's step one. So some of that. We want to make ourselves an empty crucible, uh, and I'll describe the crucible process while we're doing this. <clears throat> Let's make four of these. The crucible process takes iron ore and melts it down inside the crucible, and cooling the iron ore slowly inside the crucible allows it to form a stronger ingot. So, get ourselves some empty crucibles, and we come to the first item, or block, excuse me, in the mod, and this is called the Forge. I'll show you how to make one of these. The Forge is basically the old furnace recipe with just with bricks. It makes you a forge. So we take our soft clay crucibles them on there. And you'll see those are going to cook, give off smoke and all that. And ta-da, they finished cooking. So, let me... Alright. Pick these up. And we got ourselves some empty crucibles. I just worked on the models on these today, so you can they now have an interior. Maybe later on I'll make it so that you can uh, put water in them, or lava or other liquids. So we now we need to fill this empty crucible up, and obviously it needs a lid. That's the stone slab. And the crucible method uses uh, sand as a uh, way to check how well your iron ingot has cooled down. If there are air bubbles in the glass that's formed from the sand later on, then you didn't do a good job. So that's not iron ore. Get some of these. Our empty crucible. There we go. That gives us some filled iron ore crucibles. Put these down. Let these cook. You can see they're all giving off smoke. The other thing about the forge is that uh, it everything does give off smoke, and so you need have empty space above them, they need to be able to see the sky, basically. So this chimney is not just for show, it's up there to uh, keep mobs out and keep the forges working. So now we got some hot, uh, hot crucibles, yeah? That looks like it'll hurt if we pick it up, so let's make some tongs to pick them up with. These are stone tongs. There will be iron and steel versions of these later on. But yeah, I got some tongs. Pretty cool. Let's pick these up. Set these down on sand. Now, the cooling process is just as important when you're using crucibles. It needs to cool down slowly and disperse the heat evenly, and putting it in sand helps to do that. So while these are cooling down, we're going to come to our next block, which is the form table. And I'll show you how that's crafted here. Six bricks, three crafting tables, makes a form table. Let's get some clay. So how the form table works is you draw out the outline of the 
form that you want to make. So in case, this case, we have a soft shovel clay form. Um, that'll give you a pickaxe clay form. And there are, there are a bunch more that we can look at later. We'll make one of these, put it in our furnace, that's going to cook. Now our hot crucibles are cooling down now. And if you were if you're successful, they'll turn this dark cooked color. We can break these open. And you see we get glass, we get our lids back, we get our empty jars back, and we get some ingots. Pick those up. Okay. These anymore, or these, or that. Let's grab our clay form and our ingots. Now we can place these ingots down on the forge to heat them up. Something I forgot to mention about the forge is that they need fuel. Any kind of fuel is fine charcoal, coal, wooden slabs, uh, whatever is registered as a fuel. So you see, now we have some hot ingots but we don't have anything to work the hot ingots with. We need a hammer. That's this guy up here. So to make the hammer, you're gonna need some refined ingots and you're gonna need some leather. Which I will supply myself some now. Okay, let's make ourselves a forge hammer. Four refined ingots will equal one block of iron. And we go block of iron, refined ingots, and some leather. Gives us a forge hammer. Later the forge hammer is going to be a model, just like all the other items in this mod so far. Um, when I first started I made it an icon, so later on it'll be a it'll be a nice looking model. Let's get to work on these hot iron ingots. Pick these up. Give me some third person action. And let's put our clay form inside and put our ingot on top. Now we're going to work the ingot into the clay form. ourselves a pickaxe head. Pretty cool. It also consumes the clay form. So you might wonder to yourself, that's a lot of clay for one pickaxe head. It would be, except you can make iron forms instead of clay forms. But you need the clay form first. So you are going to use this iron pickaxe head as a template to make some iron forms. To do that, get one more ingot like we have, turn it into a plate. To turn it into a plate, you just need to have nothing inside the uh, anvil. So pick this up, let's put it back on our forge, heat it up. See, we've been using a little bit of charcoal. Actually, we haven't gone through much yet. It doesn't burn like a furnace does where it consumes it. It'll consume based on how much it needs to. Alright, so let's put our pickaxe head in there. Nice. Get ourselves an iron pickaxe form. Now let's see how we can use this pickaxe form. So just like the clay form, where we had the clay form inside, you put in the iron pickaxe form. And again, work the ingot in. And we get ourselves another pickaxe head. And our pickaxe form took some damage. So you'll be able to make a bunch of pickaxes with this. The last step in the process is 
or the last thing you can use the anvil for is uh, repairing your tools. So as you can see, our forge hammer has taken some damage while we've been working on it. So let's get a new forge hammer. Put that used dirty one in there and put a new ingot on top. So now, remember it has some damage. And our forge hammer is repaired. How cool is that? And this will work for enchanted items as well. It only, uh, it just fixes the damage on it. It doesn't use any of your XP or anything like that. That I think that's stupid. Uh, just repair the tool like you would with anything else. That's the forging process from start to finish. There's also uh, Damascus steel that this mod introduces that I. Uh, haven't showcased yet, however, you can't use the Damascus deal for anything, so that's why I haven't showcased it. Some sneak peeks at the <coughs> weapons in the mod. We have our long sword and a heavy mace. I've just completed the battle axe as well. We can look at that while we're looking at the rest of these weapons. And these tools will have, uh, or these weapons will have special Reich-like abilities. For example, I intend to make the battle axe, uh, when you fully charge it back, it will have an extremely high chance of beheading the target, including players. The heavy mace slows you down as you walk. It also has a long swing speed. Same with the battle axe. The long sword doesn't slow you down. And like I said, all these weapons are models as you can see. If you're worried about your client lagging, because I'm sure I'll get some complaints about the uh, models being too high vert count or anything like that, these are all low vert count, low triangle, uh, small texture t uh, weapons so or models. So you have nothing to fear there. The last weapon that I've been working on lately has been the longbow. Unfortunately the longbow doesn't have uh, third person views yet because I need to work on multiplayer uh, rendering for that but we can still use it here. It uses custom arrows. These are custom modeled arrows as well. I'll shoot one of these so we can see it. Cool arrow sticking out of the wall. I did forget to mention something about the uh, <clears throat> something about our tools, our weapons actually. Everything in, in Forgecraft, all the weapons, have right-click functionality if the item to the left of them is a shield. So here we have our wooden shield, right? Looks pretty cool. Protect yourself. The shields give you resistance, so when you take damage while using a shield, depending on the type of damage, it will uh, reduce the damage that you take. Wooden shields won't protect you against explosions. Well, they will, but they have a chance to uh, break themselves, so you might lose your shield. But if we watch here, I'm going to right click, it's going to equip the shield, and when I let go of right click, it's going to equip the heavy mace. Pretty cool. Same with the long sword and the iron shield. The iron shield gives you some knockback resistance as well as more damage resistance, so if you do take an explosion, you won't get knocked away as far. So. That's some of the stuff I've been working on. There's more things in the mod. Uh, uh, I won't be able to showcase them all here today, but yeah, that's it for now. Enjoy the sneak peek and uh, watch the forum for new posts. Join our forums to get uh, posts on all our servers, developers, mods. Uh, I'm not the only one who develops on our server. And uh, you can join our IRC or our TeamSpeak anytime if you have questions or 
just want to hang out. All right, I'll talk to everyone later. Bye.